So welcome back everybody. Welcome to my little radio desk. Uh, my name is Tom and today we're going to be doing a radio review. And I'm going to be looking at this cute little radio here. This is a Sanjian PR-6. This is an AM FM uh, portable radio and a very very basic operation. Now there's something to be said for simplicity and this is definitely a simple radio. This is an analog unit. Uh, there's no presets or readouts or even a dial light for that matter. So this is as basic as it gets. Uh, but if you want a decent uh, reception capability on medium wave or AM uh, broadcast band and uh, pretty decent FM reception in a, in a basic radio um, for 30 bucks isn't, isn't a bad way to go. So let's take a look and we'll uh, you can judge for yourself. All right, here's the uh, Sanjian in action. This is tuning uh, AM in the evening. And you can see the dial here is not real accurate, so uh, if that's important to you to know exactly where you are, then this is probably not a good radio for you. Uh, but it's pretty close. I would say that needle probably covers oh depending on where you are on the band probably 20 kilohertz so it's um, not real helpful but it's um, <clears throat> this is I, w I was hoping to find 1170 that's why I was here but this is probably more I don't know what it is this is an Ohio station through a, a, a postcard process it is a lottery process coming in loud and clear here in New Jersey with the help of a external antenna so let me just uh, turn this, pull the antenna away for a second and show you the radio. It's a, a very attractive blue, as you can see. comes in three different colors. I decided that um, I should get uh, something a little different because most of my radios are gray or silver or black or charcoal or something like that. So this is a bit of a, a bit of a switch. Tuning indicator, again, just a very handsome, very simple front panel. And we have uh, the side panel here, so you can see a tuning knob, the power switch, which is also the band switch, headphone, and DC in. And here we have the tone controls and the volume. Uh, it does not, it has a kind of a chintzy thing, which looks almost stiff in the picture. It looks like a kind of a stiff arc plastic or something but it's just a fabric thing which is okay uh, and this rubber duck antenna which is uh, kind of a cool feature so if you're used to um, mostly listening to medium wave you can unscrew the antenna and uh, so that way it won't break off but um, that's uh, perhaps a bonus or perhaps an annoyance I'm not sure which so um, I find that the AM reception on this is pretty good. So let me just turn this on. Now, since I'm inside in my basement, my AM reception is very uh, com <laughs> to say it's compromised is uh, is an understatement. Uh, it's really bad. So I have a uh, and, uh, it's being fed in from the outside through this. Uh, loop. There's 1210. See, I'm not pretty close. I want to tune back down to some of the more High-powered locals. Next to her, put his hand on her 
leg was she told him to stop, he pulled a gun out. He tried to force her to... Hollywood. At night is like any other city after midnight. Night moves in and the city becomes hushed and stealthy. Act by day, there's a man going on now. For the rest of the month, you can take advantage of unbeatable... C'est de 23h à 8h, le seul chantier de la rive nord, à l'est de Montréal, à l'Assomption, la 40 ouest vers Montréal. I think that's just great. You, you see these guys all the time, you mean walking certainly new lease on life in 2011. And, and we talk about all right, so I was going kind of quick there, but there you get the idea. And this is nighttime, so there's a, a lot of stations out there. Um, FM, I'm I'm going to try to um, tune in something, but it's probably going to be music. And um, in which case I can't stay long because I'll get in trouble with YouTube. Uh, and again, I'm in a very compromised environment, so I only get a couple of channel stations here. Okay, that might be um, obscure enough that it won't pop up on YouTube. Let's see if I can find the other one that comes in. So there's just a, a real quick uh, FM demonstration. I would like to do more, but uh, that's probably the only two I can pick up down here. Um, generally, I like this radio. I think it's a great radio. It's small in size, so um, where's my ruler? What is that? About five inches by seven inches, let's say. So it's a uh, it's a smaller radio. It's compact. Again, operation is very simple. I would imagine this is a good radio to take camping, for example. Probably runs forever on uh, the batteries, which I forget what it takes. It takes double A's. Four double A's. I, I don't know how long they last, but I've had these in for... Well, it's hard. You know, one thing about analog radios is the batteries last a long time and you kind of lose track of how long they're in there. So this would be a good radio for camping, taking to the beach, you know, working on uh, working outside, something like that. Um, it's got good volume, nice and loud, uh, good reception, good AM reception. So there's a lot of things that come in this radio. The only thing I don't like about this, and I'm not going to count against it for not having a dial light. I mean, that would be nice but you know it, it it one level of simplicity um the only thing i really don't like about it is the the fact that the tuning and the volume are on different sides of the radio so that um it really does i often find i have to have two hands to operate it which in most instances if the you know if you're just listening and the the radio is on your lap it, that's pretty simple but i kind of like to have them both on the same side uh, I, it, I can't reach over with this hand and, uh, you know, with one hand to do it. Um, so that's one, one thing. And uh, the second thing is, and I'm not sure if it's particular to this unit or if it's uh, these radios in general, is the tuning is really stiff. I mean, it's, it's kind of unpleasant to tune it. And uh, for you analog lovers, there's nothing like a nice smooth dial uh, a smooth knob um, and and this really isn't it it's got a little play in it but it does take a bit to torque that around so that's a that's a negative but you know for 30 bucks not a bad little not a little bad little radio to have in your collection and certainly one that um, I use um, on a pretty regular basis so that's it for tonight I hope you enjoyed this video if, please subscribe I've got a lot more radio related videos on uh, YouTube and uh, drop me a line. It'd be good to hear from you. For now, 73s. This is Tom. Take care.